and today I am going to discuss about factors affecting vibrational frequency. So before starting the topic, we have to understand what is vibrational frequency. A molecular vibration occurs when atom in a molecule are in periodic motion while the molecules as a whole has constant translational and rotational motion. The frequency of the periodic motion is known as vibrational frequency. Molecular vibration is a periodic motion of the atoms of a molecule relative to each other such that the center of mass of the molecule remains unchanged. We can calculate modes of vibration for different types of molecules. In general, a nonlinear molecule with n atoms has 3n minus 6 normal modes of vibration, but a linear molecule has 3n minus 5 modes. These formulas are different because in case of linear molecule, rotation about the molecular axis cannot be observed. There are several factors which affects vibrational frequency. These factors include coupling vibrations, Fermi resonance, hydrogen bonding, and electronic effects. First of all, we will discuss coupled vibrations. An isolated CH bond has only one stretching vibrational frequency, whereas methylene group shows two stretching vibrations, symmetrical and asymmetrical. This happens because of mechanical coupling or interaction between CH stretching vibrations in the CH2 group. Asymmetric vibrations occurs at higher frequencies or wave numbers than symmetric stretching vibrations. These are known as coupled vibrations because these vibrations occur at different frequencies than required for an isolated CH stretching. For example, a strong vibrational coupling is present in carboxylic acid anhydrides in which symmetrical and asymmetrical stretching vibrations appear in region 1720 to 1825 cm inverse. This interaction is very effective probably because of partial double bond character in carbonyl oxygen bonds due to resonance which also keeps the system planar for effective coupling. Here you can see resonating structures of an acid anhydride. In this case, this interaction is very effective because of partial double bond character in carbonyl oxygen bonds. This double bond changes its position because of resonance. There are several requirements for coupling effect. Like for interaction to occur, the vibration must be of same symmetry species. There must be a common atom between the groups for a strong coupling between stretching vibrations. For coupling of bending vibrations, a common bond is necessary. Interaction is greatest when coupled group absorb individually near the same frequency. Coupling is negligible when groups are separated by one or more carbon atoms and the vibrations are mutually perpendicular. So if any molecule fulfill these requirements will show coupling effect. Second factor which affects vibrational frequency is Fermi resonance. In some cases due to resonance effect a vibration of a large amplitude produced by a relatively small vibrations. Coupling of two fundamental modes of vibration with frequencies higher and lower than that observed in absence of interaction. Interactions can also take place between fundamental vibrations and overtone or combination tone vibration and such interactions are known as Fermi resonance. In this case, the lowest allowed natural frequency of vibration is known as fundamental vibration. While higher allowed frequencies of vibration above the fundamentals are called overtones. In this picture, top bands represent two fundamental vibrations without Fermi resonance and the bottom bands show the change in bands as a result of Fermi resonance. The two energy levels are split such that one increases and the other decreases in energy. This is known as Fermi doublet and they move away from each other. In this case, intensity and frequency shifts due to Fermi resonance. So here you can see, this band shifts to the lower frequency region while this band shifts to the higher frequency region. This is known as Fermi resonance. So we can say that if two different vibrational levels belonging to the same species have nearly the same energy, a mutual perturbation of energy may occur which shifts one towards lower and other towards higher frequencies. This effect is known as Fermi resonance. In this, a molecule transfers its energy from fundamental vibration level to overtone or combination tone level and back. So in this case, resonance pushes the two levels apart and mixes their character. 
Consequently, each level has partially fundamental and partially overtone or combination tone character. We will understand Fermi resonance by this example. According to theoretical calculations, carbon dioxide molecule have total number of four vibrations. These vibrations are symmetrical stretching, asymmetrical stretching, in plane bending, and out of plane bending. Symmetrical stretching produces no change in dipole moment, therefore it is IR inactive. Asymmetrical stretching, in plane bending, and out of plane bending produces change in dipole moment, therefore these are IR active. So active vibrations are three. In this case, stretching vibration occurs at 1337 cm inverse and two bending vibrations occurs at same frequency which is 667.3 cm inverse. Because these two bending vibrations occurs at same frequency, the first overtone of this will be 667.3 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 1334 cm inverse. Now if we compare this reason with the stretching vibrations, these are very close. And because of this, Fermi resonance occurs. Due to resonance, mixing of 1337 cm inverse and 1334.6 cm inverse gives two new bands at 1285 and 1388 cm inverse. Here you can see frequency shift. One towards lower and other towards higher frequency. Next factor is hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding occurs in any system containing a proton donor or a proton acceptor group. The stronger or longer the OH bond, the lower the vibrational frequency and broader and more intense will be the absorption band. For example, the NH stretching frequencies of amines are also affected by hydrogen bonding as that of the hydroxyl group but frequency shifts for amines are lesser than that for hydroxyl compounds. This happens because nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen so the hydrogen bonding in amines is weaker than that in hydroxy compounds. Intramolecular hydrogen bonds give rise to broad bands while intramolecular hydrogen bonds give sharp and well defined bands. The inter and intramolecular hydrogen bonding can be distinguished by dilution. Intramolecular hydrogen bonding remains unaffected on dilution and as a result the absorption bands also remains unaffected. Whereas the intermolecular bonds are broken on dilution and as a result there is a decrease in the bonded OH absorption. Last effect is electronic effect. Changes in the absorption frequencies for a particular group take place when the substrate in the neighborhood of that particular group are changed. Electronic effects which changes the absorption frequencies includes inductive effect, mesomeric effect and field effect. First is inductive effect. The introduction of alkyl groups causes plus I effect which results in the lengthening or the weakening of the bond. Hence the force constant is lowered and wave number of absorption decreases. Let us compare the wave numbers of absorption for the following compounds. Formaldehyde shows absorption band at 1750 cm inverse, acetaldehyde at 1745 cm inverse and acetone at 1715 cm inverse. In this example, absorption reasons decreases with increasing in electron donating groups. Here CS3 is an electron donating group. As the number of CS3 increases, the wave number of absorption decreases. Introduction of an electronegative atom or group causes minus I effect which results in the bond order to increase. Hence the force constant increases and the wave number of absorption rises. Next is mesomeric effect. The mesomeric effect in chemistry is a property of substrates or functional groups in a chemical compound. It is defined as the polarity produced in the molecule by the interaction of two pi bonds or between a pi bond and a lone pair of electrons present on an adjacent atom. Mesomeric effect causes lengthening or the weakening of a bond leading in the lowering of absorption frequency. For example, c one o absorption frequency in benzamide is much less than in methyl benzoate. This is because nitrogen atom is less electronegative than oxygen atom. The electron pair on nitrogen atom in amide is more labile and participate more in conjugation. Due to this greater degree of conjugation, the C double bond O absorption frequency is much less in amides as compared to that in esters. 
Next is field effect. A field effect is the polarization of a molecule through space. The effect is a result of an electric field produced by charged localization in a molecule. In ortho substituted compounds, the lone pair of electrons on two atoms influence each other through space interactions and change the vibrational frequency of both the groups. This effect is called as field effect. For example, in ortho haloacetophenone, both CH3CO and X group are ortho to each other. Now because of the presence of lone pair of electrons, there occurs a change in the vibrational frequencies of both the groups. This effect is known as field effect. This content is taken from following references. Thank you.